Good evening, got a craft by Kim. How's everybody tonight? Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. How's everybody? Hope everybody's well. I keep getting these pop-ups when I do live. Things I don't really want to do. First, I like to say, I do not own the rights to that music. If you can hear it, I'm still having hearing issues but it's getting better every day. So I, I'm posted that I'm gonna be making the right wreath with some red highlights. And it's gonna be poly burlap. Um, the mesh is poly burlap. And I am gonna be using a wood burning tool to cut it. And I am gonna cut a few more pieces. I have some cut that's been laying under something heavy so it can flatten so when you use poly burlap it tends to curl and if you sit something on it it'll flatten out a little bit it's a little easier to work with when you are uh, working with the mesh and the wood burning tool just helps all the mesh poly burlap uh, deco regular deco mesh uh, not fray as much but as I always say if you continue to touch it it will continue to fray no matter what so this is just going to singe the ends I know you've seen me do this many times um, but I am going to do it a little bit I'm sorry about that I had to see where we was in the group I'm not going to do the entire reef uh, live because it's going to take about an hour and a half probably more than that so I am going to do start some of it but first I'm going to show you how <coughs> to cut this poly burlap again with the wood burning tool I guess you can see it hopefully and I had to turn the light off behind me because it was reflecting really bad on the mirror um, so I all, I'm also show you what I do with the red and the white together. I'm going to fuse it together. I, that technique, or this technique that I'm going to be showing you with the red, um, Julia's Reef Boutique, she's excellent when she makes these poly burlap reefs. And um, she, I really like her, the way she does her reefs. But she showed this technique in one of her videos so when I add the red I'll bring that back up again so this is a brand new roll so I'm going to start by cutting or singeing the ends first and it's in between two threads so if you notice that poly burlap is crosses the threads some horizontal and some vertical and it's close together so all I did was take off one little end so I could see singe the ends of the other one and we're going to be doing 10 inches and I'm going to do about four I already have some cut I'm not sure how many I'm going to be needing but it's going to be at 10 inches and you see I have my mirror marked off. This is 8, 10, 12, 14, 20. So I'm going to do 10. Excuse me, and if you can see it, I'm going to go right in between the two uh, horizontal vertical lines. Alright? So at the 10 inch mark. Just straight down. And I'm using the peak of this wood burning tool. So I'm going to cut about three pieces of this, just straight down in between the two lines. You can get this tool on Amazon. It's not really very expensive, but it's very, very useful. So generally when I cut 10 inches, since I have the 20, line marked off I'll do a 20 and then I'll do a 10 so this is what I do is a 20 line 
And if you notice, I'm holding the mesh flat. Y'all know I burnt myself pretty bad with this wood burning tool, so you have to be very careful. And the only reason I'm cutting it inside without a mask, and you should because wear a mask because of the fumes, because I'm only going to be doing a few pieces. If I was doing cutting a whole brief, I would be using a mask. So we're going to just do these three pieces. I don't know quite how many I'm going to need, but I already have a lot cut, so I just wanted to show you that technique. So now I'm going to show you how to fuse it together. All right. <clears throat> I posted some pictures and uh, some of the prices off the sale. So let me know or by early, early tomorrow morning. I'm going to cut the edge off of this one as well. Just so I can have a seed or singed in. Because like I said, the more you mess with this poly burlap or any deco mesh, I think I need to come in a little bit more. There we go. It's going to fray. And I have cut some of this already. And it was just sitting in. Yep, just sitting in. So remember my YouTube channel, guys. Just go over there and subscribe. Be grateful. It's Kim B E A T T Y. Alrighty, I have some a few videos if you want to go and look at the replay. So this is how we I'm doing the fuse method. I'm taking both rolls. Let me unwind this just a little bit more. And this is going to be posted over in, on YouTube as well. So alright. So we're going to line these two ends up. We get them as even as possible. I'm being very careful with this tool because I did touch them yesterday when I was cutting. <clears throat> so I'm going to take off another little piece, like two rows in, so I can, these two will be singed together. Just straight on down. And if you don't have a mirror like this, you can always buy a glass cutting board and it will do the same thing and the glass cutting board you can sit on top of your mat that you're working with right. and you have your measurements already on there because the mat the glass cutting board is clear so here we go this edge this edge is together if you can see. Alright. Again I'm giving a shout out to Julie's Reef Boutique who's I watched you do this method. I'm gonna sit this on here and we're gonna make sure it's pretty even and we're gonna cut it at 10 inches. So that's why it was titled white with a touch of red. So we're just going to go right in between and it, when I pull this apart, the ends are going to be seized together. Let me show you. Put that tool down. You got to be very careful with that tool. So both ends are together. Not the outside, but the two ends. So when you go to use it, that hint of red if you can see. So it could be either side. You can do one side or you can do the white side, whichever end you want to show the most. So I'll do it one more time.
when I did that yellow and white, I did a couple pieces uh, fused together. Yep. So if you hear, if you hear a uh, knocking, that's a little piece hanging over my drain for the washing machine. Of course, you. A woman's job is never done. Always doing something. We multitask quite a bit, don't we? So, 10 inches. We're going to go straight down the, in between the two veins. Or two threads, however you want to say it. And we're going to fuse these together. So this will make 10. I already have uh, 8 done. I just wanted to put a few pieces, highlighted a few pieces throughout the reef that I'm making. So that's how you do it. You see the ends are still fused. Okay. I'm going to just take this apart because I'm not going to be using any more right now. Alright. So we're going to put this up. This mesh, this poly burlap mesh is so delicate. I'm gonna tell you. Yep. I have to put it away right away and it will start really threading or separating. How was y'all day? We don't have tomorrow is December the first, y'all. Is that amazing? Ooh. That is awesome. Twenty twenty one will be over in less than thirty days. Thirty one days. Wow! Imagine. Let's put that over here to the side. All right, let me get my reef. So here's the other pieces I had laid flat, already cut. And I'm gonna use a regular metal frame. Let me put my reds together. So that's 10 pieces of red. So I'm just trying to be a little strategic as to how I place them. I'm not gonna place them so the red can show vividly. I'm going to do it face down because I just want highlights of red. And my white. Yep. So, let me see how I can get this out of the way a little bit. All right, I'm going to put my mat back up. I know it's bright. There we go. Plug my light back in. Uh-huh. All right, so I'm using a regular metal frame, and I did prep it. So I showed you guys once how I used that grid. It's a square grid. I got it from Amazon, and I've just set the reef on it. And I, right in this area here, I just made a red line outlining it, and I just cut it out in a circle. Alright, so this is a 12 inch frame and I have four pieces in the middle of zip ties but I probably, I might, depending on the fullness of it, you'll see if I need any more but I did prep it all the way around or preload. Alright, so this is what I'm going to do. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have ten pieces. So if I did every other one, that would be three of the red and white. So I never really, guys, have a sought out plan when I do reefs. I just, as I think, sit down here in my area, I just come up with ideas. So the uh, crossbars, 
I'm going to put a red on every other one. All right, and then strategically as I go inside, I'll be putting more. All right, so since I don't want the red to show, I'm just going to make it a triangle, a 10 by 10. See how nicely the edges line up? Imagine that. I'm trying to see which leaf I'm going to do. Do I want to do this one? Let's see. Or I think I'll do this one where you need it in the middle. All right, and then you just gather it in right straight up the middle. All right, and then you overlap it. Grab the bottom. And with Echo Poly Burlap, I'm sorry, Poly Burlap Mesh, you can kind of play with it and make it do exactly what you want it to do. All right, and I'm going to lay it on the side. So we're going to start right here. When you preload on a metal frame, that's what happens. They get twisted. No, no worries. I want to. I'm going to be laying them on the side. This is a. This will give it a pretty, pretty fan out. So we're going to put it right in the chenille stir. Shape it out a little bit. I'm sorry. Zip tie. Get my little gun. Got to make sure it's formed correctly. All right. Sit that in there. Don't want to go in. There you go. going to do white. See how I'm shaping it as I go along? All right, so we're going to right to the middle, and then we're going to scrunch it all the way up. Kind of squeeze that tight, overlap, and excuse me, yeah, and we're going to put it in on the side. In the next zip tie. Now, when she does her, she does each zip tie one at a time, but I found it easier for me to preload. It saves time for me. This first section, and uh, my gun only want to work when it want to work. I think I'm going to use it anyway. All right, so that's two. So it is going to be more than four in the middle. I see it already. Now remember, this is poly burlap. It over on the dryer. Cool. I'm going to put it on the side. Kind of form it out. I don't know. I love my old method. Make it tight. Cut it off. Okay, there we go. So 
So I did say that I was going to be a, this is going to be my reef, right? I know I said that. Yep. Kind of shape it. Then pinch that in. Then we're going to put it to this. Yep. Put it to the side. See, I didn't want a lot of red because I wanted this could be valent all the way through Valentine's Day. Yep. It's time to start. That's the next holiday, isn't it? Yep. See if I can get that a little tighter and cut it off. Yes, yes. I didn't want a lot of red because white, I could put this up for Christmas. It can go through to the Valentine's Day. Yep. Yeah, so it looks like it's going to be five in the middle. So I might, I'm going to have to add another zip tie. So it's just like a little bow. And then I'm just going to flip it on top. All right. And kind of shape it. I always turn it back over. Kind of give it this little shape. And then I'm going to put it to the side. I love this look. Yep. It's the same fold, flower fold. You're just putting it to the side. That's all. Yep. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm going to have to use another one. Now remember, I'm going to do every other crossbar for the red. All right, so we're going to put one more in here. And it's not on the first rail, because if you can see, it's on that second rail. It has three rows. And it's not necessary to put one here because of the extension of the flower. So this is the thing. You always want to have the seam side on your left facing your left side and the one on the right side. And then you would just bring, because you want all of your mesh the same direction, okay? Whether it be the seam side or whether it be the open side because we're going to put mesh another flower right in this area too see sometimes I can do it right away and then other times I have to play with it a little bit but it is what it is so we're going to do five. All right. And you want to make sure they're about the same here. So the flower on the outside could be basically the same length outside. All right. So I think I'm going to be using one of those centers I made. I made another one. And it has Christmas bulbs. But I'm not going to use it on this one. Okay. Alright. So we know we need five, right? So I have four. 
So we're going to do one right now. So now you can count. So it's actually six with the crossbar. So, but in the middle is five. So it's five, 10, 15, 20, 25. So that's 30, <coughs> 35. I didn't include the crossbar. Yep, because I have five left. All right, that's a lot of mess, right? But fullness scorching right up the middle like a little bow. Flip it over so it's on top of each other. Squeeze the bottom. Now I like to flip it over so I can see if it's about even. And now we're going to sit this one on the crossbar. Yep. And sideways. Now before you secure it, you want to shape it because you secure it and it'll be flipping everywhere. Although uh, poly burlap is forgiving. Alright. So that's what we're doing here. Can you see the little highlight of red in there? Yep. Alright. So this is going to take quite a bit of time. So not square, triangle, curl up right to the middle and meet it at the middle and scrunch it up the middle. And you could have you could use deco mesh for this. Yep. Yep, but poly, I, I think poly burlap is just as good. You could use regular deco mesh. It doesn't have to be poly burlap. And it's going to be sideways. since I didn't get any invite for Thanksgiving dinner, maybe Christmas dinner, huh? <laughs> so now we're planning, or we have, they have planned. wonder what it's going to be like for New Year's now, since that new, uh, uh, or, or, or Micron. That new, oh, One thing and another thing, isn't it? I tell you, oh, Micron, is that what it's called? The new. So again, curl up on the diamond. While it's here, you can play with it. You just flip it over. And squeeze them ends together. Put it on the side. Yep. Make sure it's about the same as the rest of them going in. Thank you. 
I really don't have to be doing this all the way around, but because at the end, I'm going to be reforming and reshaping as well. it in that zip tie that I preloaded. I need to close them all the way. There we go. So I have ten red and whites. So you see how that? I think my uh, still on my wood burning tool. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna kind of singe these edges since a piece of thread came out. This whole metal piece gets hot. Right. So I'm not going to mess with that anymore. So that is, where's my crossbar? Right here. So that's three, I have two more to put. And you want to make sure it's even. Yep. You don't want three on one, two on another. You want to make sure it's nice and full and even. Right down the middle. Yep. Scrunching right up the middle. And I kind of squeeze it, but then I just flip it. And kind of flatten it out a little bit. All right. So kind of get a good grip on it. And sit it right in there sideways. Yep. I love this the way this leaf. You could put it on the other way flat out. I love it sideways though. I did that yellow and white one sideways. I love it so much. And it, but this is just takes a little more time because you could just, let me show you, put it on the same flower. Scrunch it up the middle. And you can put it on this way. Let me show you. That way. And it would be just flat out this way. Okay? I don't know if you saw that, but that way. Okay? But we're going to put ours kind of like overlapping, and then we're going to put it sideways for this particular one. Trying to make sure we got it even, pretty much. Tuck it in. Yup. Got another one trying to come out. So, 
I'm going to burn that off so it won't sh anymore. So like I said, even though you singe the ends, sometimes they just still want to do what they want to do. All right? So that's what we're doing tonight. And then the next one is going to go in here in between these two. And we're just going to go in between each flower. All right, let's put our red one here. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like if I did it the other way. Same flower. Got to tuck this in. And it would go in like that. But I don't want that much red showing. I just want a hint of red. So we're going to do it the white side. We do my side. Diamond. And this is a pretty thick piece because it's two pieces together. Now I could have very well have cut these two pieces down the middle and use half and half for each one. Yep. So that's what we're doing tonight. This one goes in. Let me get this squeezed together a little better. A really thick piece, so right on top. Make sure it's even, nice and tight. Yep. Then you can kind of shape it. All right. So here, here, and then, like I said, every other one. So it'll be three pieces. So that's what our reef is going to look like. <clears throat> and then let me show you the next step. And we're just going to work our way inside. All right. Do a couple for you on the inside. Didn't want to keep you long. So we're going to go right in the grid. Right close to the inside rail. Go down. And up. So that's going to be white. And your center is going to go right in the middle of the grid once you get all of the mesh on. It's going to go right in between. Same direction. Alright. 
And then as you go in, you do another one here. So we'll probably have three rows. So I'll do another one all the way around here. And then one more. And then the center will go in. So that's how you... All right, that's how it lays. Then another one goes here, here, here. Yup, and then you work your way all the way around. these two ends. Make sure it's going in sideways. Make sure the butt of it is about the same length as the rest of them. And tighten it down. So I'm I'm sure you can see the, the the shape coming to play, how the reef is forming now. But that's how you use poly burlap or this particular flower. Yep. So you can't keep playing. So I'm not, excuse me, I slept in good today. I didn't do anything, nothing for a change. I was up early though. I had a cup of coffee. And then guess what? About seven o'clock, I laid down, thought I was gonna watch some TV. And I didn't wake back up until 10, quarter to 10. You know, coffee does not make me, keep me woke at all. If I need to sleep, I will sleep. Yes, yes. Everybody is sleep. Me and the pups and the kitty. Yeah. Yeah, I wanted me a white reef. Excuse me. I'm not, I'm not going to continue to play with this until I'm finished and I'll finish setting it up. But I'm going to finish this section. And I'll finish the rest on the outside. Flip it over because you basically want them on top of each other. So again, poly burlap mesh is so forgiving. It'll let you beat it up a lot to get it to do what you want it to do. Yep, put it in there. Sideways, it's on the side. Yes, yes. That board show that came on Sunday, it was okay. It wasn't fabulous to me. I don't know why. Yep. So, that's just me. 
Excuse me. I don't know why I'm yawning. So we have no red hair, a red hair. And then so it should be three reds and the rest white. Yep. So another red goes here. And then that'll be it for the outside. But this is going to take a few hours, so what I'm going to do is not finish it tonight. I'll do part two. I'm going to do the out, continue the outside. Finish the outside. And then I'll come back. I'll record. So that's one, two, three, four. Oh, why didn't y'all tell me I didn't add that fifth one here? Right? I'm like, it's too much space. So I'm just taking this zip tie around that second row. Waiting to hear those little two connections. And then... tonight yeah it's so quiet the washing machine stop and it's not quiet cuz I can't hear out of one ear it's just quiet I don't hear any music cuz I had to turn it down but that's all right the dryer stopped. So that little touch of red is going to be pretty nice, I think. And white is generally an all-season color. You know, unless you're from that old school of white. It's a, a, a winter color. Not so much for clothes for you old timers. But uh, <laughs> I had to say that. I couldn't resist. But uh, you know you can wear white any time of the year now. Remember white wool? Yes, yes. Hey, pal. <laughs> Oh. Yep. You know, you old folks don't like, uh, don't think you should wear white in the winter. I had to say you old folks. I couldn't resist. But, uh, we are wearing white anytime now. But we did wear white wool, right? Yeah. So that's what it's looking like. We can see. And then I added that next little piece. You see that little hint of red in there? Yeah. Have to bring some of this up to make it even. And that way you can see it. I'm, trying, I'm looking right there. There we go. Oh, excuse me. It's coming together. Twist it just a hair. But that's how that little peak of red is coming in. And that's just what I wanted. Not a lot. Can you see that other piece down there? Right below there. Yep. But when I finish and shape you know I have to bring out 
bring up. Make sure they're all even. Is that my red? Yep. So that's what it's going to look like. So that's how you you cut poly burlap. And that's how you would fuse it when you want two colors together. It doesn't have to be red and white. It could be burgundy and purple and lavender. It could be turquoise and whatever blue. But yeah. So just wanted to come on and show you what I'm up to. Show you how that fuse went. And uh I'll do one more piece in the middle before I go so you can see how that's done. Alright, oh yeah, that red just pops right there. Zip ties. So, if I have, I'm going to do all white and then in the middle, I did three so I got, I'm trying to figure out how many red I have if I need any more. So if I have three on the outside, Maybe I'll do three on the ends, the next row, and that'll leave me with four more, right? So I, I three, because I had ten pieces, but I'm gonna figure it out. I don't want as much. I just want it here and there. So here we go. We're gonna do one more inside on the next. It goes on the grid now. Remember. And it goes in between two. Alright? So we're going to go close to the third rail, which is the inside row. And we can go down and up. about four I put it in like the fourth hole basically in the same line alright and hear that first little snatch uh, the catch of the zip tie Scrunch it up, flip it over, and like form it. There we go. And then we we'll put it right in the middle here. Bring it down, make sure it's on the side. tight tight yet because I want to shape my leaf. Next one to go in between a couple of them around. You won't need as many because it gets in that more narrow. The space gets less and less. All right. Let me show you how it's going to look. We'll bring that yellow one over here. So I can show you. I'm cutting my uh, wood burner tool off because I don't know how I like to burn myself.
Just hold tight for two seconds. It's right here. Make sure. I'm not an old timer. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm coming. I want to show you what it's going to look like. So this is the other one. I think I posted that. So that's what it's going to look like. But it's going to be mostly all white. Yup. I love this, this leaf, this flower leaf. This way. Yeah. So that's where it's going. Alright. This one I just put hints of uh, white in it. In that center. And of course I cover the back so it can uh it won't bother your door. But that's that one. That's what that flower looks like. And that's what that's like the one I'm doing uh the red, but the hints of red. So this is the center I made. But I'm not going to use it because I don't know if you can see the, the damn light bulbs, these little, and it's, I have put pearl around it. All right. It would look pretty if it was for Christmas, but I'm not doing any more Christmas. And... Of course, I might put this one in it. Can you see it? The one other one I made? That might look good in it. Or the white pearl one. I added a little more glitter to this one I did. So we'll see when it's done. Alright, I'm going to go and uh, I'm going to finish that first row and uh, I'll come back and do the second row with you guys alright thanks for stopping by oh thank you which one Val the yellow one the yellow and white one I love it isn't it awesome That is so spring like. Yep. I have a couple of more of those centers, but it's not going to go with this red and white one. So, I think either this all white one is really glittery. Yep. So, or this, the glitter one, this one has stars. You can see the stars in it. So I might, you know, use that one as well. Or I might put an all red one in there, make a red one with some glitter. We'll see how it goes. All right, if I, I'm gonna do a red one. And I will, uh, it's gonna take me a day or two to make this wreath right here. But when I get close to the end, I'll come back so maybe to, tomorrow I'll do a red center for it. All right, I'll do it live t tomorrow or Thursday. I'll post it and let you know. All right, thanks for joining. What? See? <laughs> you are some that this thing took a long time to make. That's why I I'm stopped and come back to them because it t it's some work but it is really nice yep so that's how that red one gonna come out yep all right miss thanks for i can't wait to put it on my <laughs>
Ah, I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it under plastic right now. Alrighty. <laughs> ah. All righty. Thanks. I will. I'm trying to see what that space is right there. Right here. Oh. That's just me when I be looking at stuff. There we go. Okay. All right. Thank you. Call me tomorrow. Yeah, I do. I know. Yes, ma'am. Yep. But um we're gonna finish this red and white one together. I'm gonna finish a lot of it, but then I'm gonna come back and finish it. So I think I'm gonna come live tomorrow and make a red center for it. I have some red ribbon, let me see. Oh. See, I have red rope too, so I'm thinking about doing a red center for that one with a glitter, making it glittery. I think that'll make it outstanding. Yep. All right. <laughs> ah. All righty. Thanks. I will talk to you guys later, and I'll come back and. We're going to finish, do this uh, sooner before I finish the reef. All right. Talk to you. Have a good night. <laughs>